What's going on guys? So this is part one of the your, your guys' collection that you guys sent me of the It or Pennywise or the Losers Club collection. You know, whatever you guys have, whether it's action figures, memorabilia, whatever. Um, I had made a video talking about show me your It collection and you guys came through. You guys sent me so many pictures. So I figured I'm not going to just do one video because I think it would have been too long. So we're going to do them in in just in different parts so we're gonna start off with part one and then we'll go from there now don't get don't get upset if you don't see your pictures in this video it will be in future videos I, I'm still getting pictures sent you guys can send them to me as long as you want I will keep on making these types of videos right now we're focusing on it and then eventually we'll go somewhere else down the line so what I'm gonna do is just talk we're gonna do a voiceover we're gonna talk about your guys's photos here and then yeah so well this is part one so we'll see some of the people some of the some of the viewers collections and we'll go from there but you guys at the end of the video let me know in the comments below what you guys think about other people's collections and uh yeah thumbs it up let's let's uh let's start all right first up we got Bodhi. now Bodhi, i don't know if you're a male or female so um i apologize if i say he or she but Bodhi here has a the calendars some posters some really cool funko pops and you can see he's got or she's got some of them in the packaging some of them outside of the packaging you got some mystery minis there a great collection of funko pops you can see some dvds there in the shelf as well and then you got the stephen king it book a plushie a georgie bow and one of those movie theater I think that's a movie theater cup. I'm not sure what's that exclusive to exactly. And then Bodhi also has a custom photo. I'm not sure if you drew this. I'm pretty sure you probably did. Pretty awesome though. Next up, we have Horror Fan 1954. At the bottom shelf there, you can see some DVDs and the Art of It book. And then we got some mugs, some Funko figures, some more mugs and cups. Uh, oh, actually, I think that's just a cup, Stephen King book, some NECA figures right there scattered. And then on the top, we have the ultimate NECA figures. I like the displays. You got the NECA headstands, and you also have the boxes behind the figure. You got the It Chapter 2 uh, figure as well. That's pretty awesome. And then we have a uh, figure right here alone on the shelf. Not sure if this is the 18-inch one. You can let me know in the comments below. And then up top, you got some Funko figures. Actually, it's a mixture of NECA, Funko, and... I some other ones there and then you have some Funko Pops right here on the shelf by itself pretty awesome you got a plushie there nice collection man or I don't know if it's a male or female and then right up top we have the Tim Curry section that is pretty awesome that's pretty sweet and then here is uh, an, um, another shelf here and you can see a various mystery minis and you can see some of the Losers Club and you got some more Funko Pops up top so Horror Fan 1954 you got a legit collection, man. Love it. Keep keep that Pennywise collection growing. Next up from Instagram, we got Salvador. He's showing off his Funko Pop collection from the It franchise. Oh, man. We got the Conan O'Brien one, and you got the Funko Freddy Pennywise. That is an awesome collection, man. You got some goodies here. You got a lot of Pennywise collection, or Funko Pops here. You got the Losers Club. This is a legit collection right here, too. Uh, awesome, man. I mean, I don't know if you have any other Pennywise figures. It looks like these are all just Funko Pops, but you got some really, really good pops in here. So, Salvador, thumbs up. Also up, KK Wally on Instagram wanted to share off some of his toy photography of the Pennywise figures. So, I figured let's go ahead and see some of the shots that he took. This is a pretty cool one. Not bad, man. So, so you got some different poses and you get some outdoor shots. I like this one right here. This is a pretty cool shot. Got a little little filter going on there. This is a cool one too. I like the background, I like the whole scenery. And then we have another one here with Pennywise and his deadlights. So KK, thanks for sharing your pictures, bud. Next up, we have Wongster2014 who sent me on Instagram some of his Funko It collection. I like those cases. You see the cases that he has there and they have blood splatter on them? But check this out. He's got a pretty good collection of Pennywise figures. It looks like he's got some of the variants too. To the, you got the FYE ones, you got the different colored eye Walmart ones. Yeah, you got a lot of Funko here, man. This is another great collection. You got some mystery minis right there on the right hand side. Awesome. Next up, we have Francisco versus the world showing off some of his NECA figures. We got some mystery minis mixed in there too, and a head knocker. Check that out. 
Love the lighting. It looks like it's in the, I think it's in a detail case. I could be wrong, probably in a shelving unit. And then we also have some of his Funko Pops. Look at that. You got some Losers Club, some Pennywise figures, some exclusives. Pretty awesome. And then you have the, the uh, movie moments right at the bottom, which I still think they need to make more movie moments. So thank you, Francisco versus the world. Showing off your eight collection. Next up, Sarah on Instagram sent her son's collection. Son's name is Carson. So hello, Carson. We got some Funko Pops here, some NECA Ultimates. We have the 10-inch Pennywise right there on the far right. We got a poster right up there too. We got a Stephen King Pop, some It Chapter 2 Pops on the far right. And he also has the Diamond Select Bust, the half-scale bust. That is awesome. Carson, you got a great collection. You, you it's awesome that your mom lets you collect horror figures so thumbs up to your mom thumbs up to you carson great collection bud noah strickland sent his images or sent me a dm sent me his collection of his it chapter 2 and it movie figures we got the uh, 1990 ultimate pennywise figure a georgie and uh, pennywise pop and then one of the pennywise figures looks like it's the wig version and then you have some mystery minis of Eddie and Bev. You got some Five Nights at Freddy stuff there too. You also have the exclusive movie theater cups. I actually own, no, I don't have the one with the open arms. But Noah, you got an awesome collection. Keep the collection going. Keep it growing, buddy. Amy Jane 30 on Instagram sent her son Charlie's collection. This is really cool. He's got those fat mojo figures. And you can see in the background, you got the, the Nebel house built. He's got a lot of those pint size figures too. I don't have that Pennywise pint size figure. He's got a, a lot of mystery minis from It Chapter 2. You got the Toonie Terrors, both versions of Pennywise. You got a Chucky figure there. Some loyal subjects right up top. The Mad, I think it's called the Mad Balls, the top right. I have that one, but I forget the name. And then you have the Mezco Pennywise figure, which I absolutely love. This is an awesome collection. A lot of little horror figures mixed in here as well. Charlie, you got an awesome collection. Next up, we got the Rotten Editor on Instagram. Sent me his Pennywise collection. He's got the outfit. It looks like that's one. that one's based off the It Chapter 2. If it is, let me know down below and let me know where you got that from. It looks pretty cool. I, li I like the, the color of it. And then you also sent some of your... You got the Stephen King It book. You got the It Chapter 2 Blu-ray. And you have a Pennywise plushie. I don't have that plushie. That's a pretty cool looking plushie. Let me know where you got it from. Here is some of his... Looks like it's NECA mixed with uh, the Funko Pop collection here. Pretty awesome. And then you also have the, I think that's a light-up chalkboard. Or it's a, a marker. I think it's a Hot Topic exclusive. And then you have some various posters and looks like decals on the wall. The 18-inch NECA Pennywise figure. Pretty sick. And then you got a Come Back and Play poster from the IT Chapter 2. What else do we got? Another poster here. This is based off of the 2017 film. I love that poster. That's a really, really cool poster. And then here's a close-up of some of uh, some of the NECA figures that he has. Look at that. 1990. The exclusive San Diego Comic-Con. Pretty awesome. Pretty sick, man. Thank you, The Rotten Editor, for showing off your Pennywise collection. Next up, we got Brody Croc 3 on Instagram showing off his collection. You got, I think that's a Trick or Treat Studios mask. You can let me know in the comments below. Love the red lights. You got some Stephen King books in the background, Funko Pops, the NECA Ultimates there, a Pennywise bloody boat, a Pennywise little bust there. I don't know what that is. It looks like it's a custom. If, it, if so, let me know if you made that yourself. But there's another angle of some of the collection. That's pretty cool, man. They got the, I like that boat right there you have. So you got a mystery mini. But again, yeah, let me know if that Pennywise figure, um, it looks like it's a bust. If you, if you made that yourself, and here's another shot of his figures with the lights off. I can see a Stephen King, it looks like an It book right in there. But thank you very much for sharing your photos, Brody. Next up, we have Mauro Pasarea. I hope I said that right. He's showing off the It Chapter 2 standee. I, I need this one. I have the It Chapter 1 version i definitely want this one here i think it looks awesome i probably don't have room for it but i still want to have it because you guys know i'm a psychopath for all of the it collection but this is awesome i love that and then here is some of the pennywise action figures looks like it's a mix you got, you got a little hat on top or not a hat a mask looks like it's the top part of pennywise's head the it chapter 2 funko pops you got that little battery charger thingy diamond select there's a lot of 
really cool items in here that I can see some decals. You got the movie theater cups, it chapter two Funko Pops. You got the Losers Club. You have looks like it's the um, is that a Star Ace figures? I believe that no, that's Mezco. I think you got the Mezco figure. Oh, you do have the Star Ace figure as well and some mystery minis. You Maro, you have a fantastic collection. Thumbs up to you. Thank you for sharing. Next up, we have Cody Blythe. I hope I said your name right. This is his 1990 Pennywise shelf. You got the ultimate Pennywise figure, which I absolutely love. The 1990 Pennywise pop, which I love as well. And then a autographed Tim Curry photo. That is sick. I need to get me an autographed Tim Curry photo. I love Tim Curry, love his movies, but I definitely need an autographed Tim Curry photo. And thank you, Cody, for sharing your awesome collection. Next up, we got Reith Nolan showing off his collection. Oh, you got a Joker chase up there. Awesome. You have some NECA, not NECA, some Funko Pops, some keychains from the It franchise. Are these boxes empty? It looks like they're empty. Okay, you got all the pops right there at the bottom. Look at that. Love it. I love how you had the boxes there towered up behind the figures, but there is the Funko Pops there. Oh, that's awesome. Nice little setup. And then there's another angle. You got an SS Georgie boat. Pretty cool. Reith, thank you for sharing your collection with us. All right, next up we have Austin Degenhardt. I hope I said your name right. Now, you have this It 1990 poster. I Did you get this from Amazon? This is a pretty awesome poster that I've been debating on getting. I love how you can see an artwork in the middle, and then you have Pennywise on the far right. Can you see him? That is super cool. And then you also have the floor mat, the doormat, which I actually own. I haven't shown that. That's an awesome doormat. And then you have some posters right here. I love these. These are pretty awesome. Love the setup that you have. And then you have a collection here of your Funko Pops in boxes. The Pennywise little headlights you can see on the on the top of, of the, the uh, display there. And then some, some NECA boxes there. You got some Friday the 13th, Jason, Halloween. Pretty awesome. And then over here you have some figures. I love the lights in the background behind the figure that looks awesome it gives it, it gives it a nice little look some Funko mystery minis you got the metal die cast figure there on the far right uh, there's a full shot you got the cereal I love that Tim Curry photo right in the center there it's a creepy creepy figure it's like a water bottle you have there too you got the tin lunchbox then you have an it ends movie uh, movie cup I believe that's exclusive to I'm not too sure you got a steel book there too of the it chapter 2 film and then you also have a popcorn box here popcorn tub whatever you want to call it from it chapter two which is something i never got to pick up so that is that's pretty cool thank you austin for showing your awesome collection love the lights too next up we have noah young 5074 showing off his collection you got some blu-rays in here mixed with some head knockers you got the candy bowl holder on the top left some plushies some solar bobblers NECA Ultimates, accessory sets, some plushies, Funko figures. You have those little slime mystery boxes. I think Fat Mojo made them, those little head sculpt thingies. And then you got the IT Chapter 2 calendar, which is pretty awesome. And then you got the, here's a 10-inch Funko Pop. And you have some of the Funko figures right there at the bottom displayed. Well, I love those figures. I wish they would have made some for IT Chapter 2. Here's some plushies, that little glass, uh, little glass cup there. And then here's a close-up of some of the, or the accessories. So you got the Diamond Select 2-pack right there too, which is actually really cool. The, the D-Orbs is what I think they call them. But I, it's right there. That's a really cool set. I don't, I don't think it gets a lot of love. Um, you have that Solar Bobbler that was exclusive to Big Lots. I have that. It's a really cool little, little head bobbler thingy. And you have the Chia Pet, which I did mine completely wrong. And then you also have a Pennywise It Chapter 2 pin. And here are some of your keychains and mystery minis. You got that glow-in-the-dark one. Thank you, Noah Young. Keep the collection going. Next up, we have J.W. Ng on Instagram sent me some of the Pennywise collection that he has. He or she has. This is cool. It looks like you got some custom drawings there. I love that phone case, too. Did you make that yourself? If so, let me know if you made that yourself. But we got a mystery minis there. A Funko It Chapter 2 Pennywise pop. But look at these. Look at this artwork. That is cool. I love how you, I love how you have Venom just tied in the middle there. But uh, JW Ng, very awesome. If you drew those pictures, let me know down below. Cool. Next up, we have Emery Cole showing off their Pennywise Ultimate Dancing Pennywise collection. Very awesome. This is my favorite 
Pennywise NECA figure by far. Thank you, Emery, for showing off your collection. There's a little cup and the skateboard Pennywise Funko Pop. Next up, we have JT underscore 1981. And this is, this is such a sick collection right here. I mean, those busts that, that you have are awesome. I think I messaged you before on where you picked those up. Ah, oh, geez, these are these are these are really cool. I think the, I forgot. I don't. I forgot what you told me when I had messaged you. I messaged you a while ago on what these were, where they where they were from. Uh, but you got the 1990 Pennywise. You got a Pennywise right in the center, and you got the Deadlight version on the right hand side. Now I think you had told me that they actually light up, which is freaking sick. And I believe they're customs. Um, right there in the bottom, you got the Funko Pop collection mixed with some, you know, NECA. It looks like there's a NECA Toonie Terror. And then some mystery minors right in the center. But these busts are beautiful. Like looking at these, I'm, I'm now I'm like really excited. I want my Prime 1 one. Yeah, look, it looks like the lights, the eyes actually light up. But I really want my Prime 1s now so I can display them. I mean, this is just sick. I mean, you have, I love the bottom right there too. It's got like the little sewer display. Look at this Pennywise. That's creepy. Looks like he's looking into my soul. That That is so awesome. This is a great looking statue. The 1990 Tim Curry one is also just beautiful. And then again, I believe, look at the teeth on that. I believe you said the eyes light up and they look like they do. Beautiful collection. JT, you have an awesome collection, man. Keep that collection growing. And it looks like you got the It Chapter 2 movie ticket. JT, thank you for sharing this collection with us. Awesome. All right, so here we have RNH597's collection. This here is a shelf, which is a mixture of Funko, some NECA, and what is that flute lady on the top right corner? Let me know what that is. And you got an Iron Studios there as well, but you see that black and white flute lady? Message me and let me know what that is, but look at how great this collection is. I love how you have them all mixed in together. Um, you have the door. I think this is called a door topper by Ruby Studios. I actually have this coming in very soon. This is something I want to display in to walking into my toy room. Super dope. I love the way this looks. And then you have some animatronics, and it looks like some of the candy, the candy bowl holders by by Ruby's. I built yeah, Ruby's makes these, right? You got both versions. And a 10 inch Funko Pop, but let's appreciate. Oh, you also have the animatronic balloon. Uh, but let's appreciate that collection you have in the background. When the, also those those 18 inch those quarter scale horror figures. But you got a lot of mint on card figures. Universal Monsters, it looks like right back there. Jeez, here's some more animatronics and Mezco figures. Whoa, you got a lot of stuff here. This is this is pretty awesome. Very impressive. Here's some more animatronics, some plushies. Is that a face hugger? Yeah, it looks like a face. Is that the NECA one? I'm not too sure. You can let me know. Uh, but it looks like a face hugger. And then you also have the animatronic Pennywise. I love this one. This is one of my favorite Pennywise animatronics that I own. Absolutely love it. But again, we got... Are those horns from Legend? It looks like it. Let's appreciate the collection that you have in the background. Look at that. Very awesome. And then look at the oh, look at all those WWE uh, figures. You have the life size animatronic, the one that pops up, the one that was super hard to get. Everybody was looking for. Jeez, look at look at all these figures. I think those are the ground. Um, those are Ruby Studios, I believe. The Jason and Freddy. Forgot what they call them though. You, you, they look like they're popping out of the ground or something. Um, you have a tombstone of Jason, the the Georgie bow, another animatronic, the drain scene. I, th I remember seeing those little figure thing, you know, gnome things at a Halloween store. You you got a great collection right here, man. Um, RNH597, you got to show me your entire collection. Send me photos of your entire collection. I want to I want to see everything that you have there so we can talk about it. But yeah, you got an you got an amazing collection. Thank you for sharing with us. Next up, we have Susanna Aguirre. And now she's uh, I know she's a big Pennywise fan. I believe you and your husband are a big Pennywise fan, if I'm correct. Showing off her collection or their collection. I love that light, the Pennywise balloon bulb or uh, a light. Oh, you got a, a custom Pennywise Lego figure. I think I have that. I think it's the same one I have. You got some Stephen King pops. Oh, that's pretty cool. Some It books. I love that Michael Myers plushie. That looks like the Poltergeist phone at the bottom right. Am I, am I right? You'll float two banner. Some NECA figures. 
for boxes at least. Wow, the Yule Float 2 clock. Some Funko Pops. I see a JC, JC, a Jason plushie on the right. Looks like you got some Funko. Uh, those are the keychains right there in boxes. They actually look good in boxes. I that's not that's not bad. That's not a bad look because they are kind of hard to stand on their own. But this is another angle of that of uh, the picture, the first picture that you sent us. And then here is looks like your wall display. I can see some Ultimate Freddy's there. Some more key, you can see a lot of the horror keychains at the bottom. Looks like some custom Legos. You got some Chucky plushies. Wow, Imp impressive collection. Absolutely, I got the Annabelle, Annabelle, the Ultimate there. I believe that's the NECA Ultimate, right? I think I think that is. Here's another shelf here where you have the Art of uh, It book, and then right here you have some more of your horror collection. You can see some cups, some glass cups right there at the bottom, and some mugs. The Losers Club on the right. I like how you separated that. And there's a poster of it chapter or it on the top right. And then looks like you got some aliens. Oh, you got a, a Jason Chase. You got some good. You got some good pops here, Susanna. Very very impressive. Thank you for sharing your collection. Love it. This last one comes from Carlos Portillo Rivera, showing off his Pennywise collection. The 1990 Ultimates there. Look at that. All the great accessories. Oh, you got some Legos there. Oh, there's a Georgie Lego too. There's the dancing Pennywise. There's a Pennywise hat. And then you have some more Ultimates here. Some Mezcos. NECA Toonie Terrors. Here's some Funko Pops. Some Mystery Minis. Nice. You keep the boxes right in the back. A little blurry picture, but there's some uh, It Chapter 2 Pops there. Here's some Stephen King It book. I think the one on the left's an It book as well. Here's an It Chapter 2 poster. Love the poster. And then this is a clock. I've never seen that before. But that is a that is an awesome clock. It definitely, I would love to have that in my collection. Um, here's some of those blood stains, those decals. that you, I, I got mine at Party City. I'm not too sure where you got yours from. Um, here's the It Chapter 2 calendar. And then over here we have, looks like it's uh, some posters. Looks like you have a pin on there. And this is the loser banner, losers banner. And then a custom, or not custom, but it looks like a Pennywise figure that you drew. Let me know. I love that. It looks awesome. There's the uh, Living Dead dolls, Pennywise, the art of It book, which I think of is, I think it's just awesome. The world of It book, the art of It, whatever you want to call it. No pun intended. And then you have that decal there that I have this. I don't know where to put it. And it looks like you put yours on your door there which is pretty awesome i still don't know where to put mine but i remember getting this at party city very very awesome oh you got call of duty there too and then you have a pennywise mask thank you carlos for showing off your collection and that's going to do it guys for part one of the it collection if you guys didn't see your videos or your photos on here don't worry i'm going to make other what was that? I'm going to be making other uh, parts to this because I got so many photos sent to me. I'm going to keep this going though, guys. If you guys feel like sharing your collection with me, let me know down below. Um, yeah, but let me know your thoughts overall on everyone's collection. Thank you everyone for sending this in. I really, really appreciate it. You guys in the comments below, let us know what was your favorite collection. What stood out to you? Let me know, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. <clears throat> Almost choked there. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Oh, come back anytime. Bring the friends.